Hello, it's Melissa, the M of the MNH of Bespoke Hairstyles. I hope you're well. This posting is about Sister Locks consultation. I've been wanting to do this for so long and I've just not had the time. But um, now I'm getting a collection of questions, so I'm going to try and answer these questions as best as I can. I'm answering it from my experience as a wearer of Sister Locks and from clients' experience, and it gets experience naturally and also what I've researched and my training, our training as well. And my, my response to the questions aren't uh, scientific, it's just what it is. It's basically based on the knowledge I have. I'll take my glasses off, sorry, I've been working, I have had to wear my glasses. Um, if I'm talking a bit quickly, I apologise, it's just because I'm pushing for time, I'm preparing for an appointment. So I'm going to try and speak as slowly as possible, but I have the habit of just kind of running with it as my brain's working. Um, anything that I've not been able to answer in this posting, please send me um, a friend request on Bespoke Hairstyles or comment and I will try my best. As I'm getting questions, I'll try my best to post responses as quickly as possible. But this channel is here to support you into enjoying your hair the natural way without any cost to your follicles. So now, right now, I'm talking about sister locks. If you have any questions about your locks, itself or your loose afro hair or even your somebody with permed hair and you've got a question please just get in touch because we continue to learn we continue to research and when i know more i'll share with you because obviously when we know better we do better so back to sister locks consultation i would say to you research 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 you're very lucky you have so many mediums now to utilize to understand exactly what to expect with sister locks um, so do that. I um, just had a card where I got from the adornment event and um, just from seeing it visually at that event, which was fantastic. This is years ago um, in London. Um, this was the only space somebody like myself uh, was able to go to to find out about my options um, with regards to living a much more natural lifestyle, which included my hair. Um, and I saw a group of women with um, sister locks and I knew this was for me because at that time I was debating what to do with my hair. I knew I didn't want to perm because who wants perm on their hair when you have to wear gloves to apply a cream onto your head? And I was just like, I was thinking, I knew the perm wasn't a, a good thing for me with my open pores, put a chemical in my hair, change my curl pattern. So that wasn't really for me. And traditional locks wasn't really for me because I wanted the versatility of styling. I'm crazy about style. As you can see, I've changed my hair. It was plaited and now I've kind of unraveled it and um, tucked it into itself and done something different. So I'm always changing my style. So I wanted something that enabled me to be, um, to have my just different styles. And this was the answer for me. So I only had a picture, images, a few pictures online with my Google search and I had a card and I had memories and that's it. But you can go and read blogs, can read, check out face. I mean, there's so many. Um, and there are more people to talk about who wear sister locks. So do your research. When you come to the consultation, make sure you are ready. You know, it's a feeling. I can't explain it. But anyone who has sister locks or has locks their hair or has even, no, more, locks, sister locks, there's a feeling where you wake up one morning and you're like, that's it, I'm ready. And you have to have that feeling. So when you have that feeling, if you're still oomin and don't come to a consultation because you have to pay for that consultation. And when you pay for that consultation, if you decide you don't want it, then it's a waste of your time. Um, so research, come to the consultation ready for your tester locks to be put in because tester locks will be put in. And those locks are for you to feel and know that you like the feeling of them, but also for us as consultants, for us to know what's the best pattern that works in your head, what, what's the best lock that, um, uh, and this is a training we have. So we'll make that decision. We'll make that decision in terms of the size. Don't um, obsess about, oh, I want it tiny, because tiny is not necessarily the best. It depends on your hair texture. It depends on the amount that your density of your hair. There are many factors to consider why you get that size locks that you have. Um, so trust your consultant. And that's what I would say. When you come to the consultation, one of the reasons why you come to consultation is to see the environment you will be sitting in for four to five hours getting your hair tightened. Um, and you know whether it's the right environment for you and whether you like the consultant. So it's also for you to come check the, the consultants out, check out the environment 
and know whether this is going to work because this is a long um, relationship. Um, come ready with your questions, but really your loctician should be able to basically um, kind of give you an overview of the do's and don'ts and what to, what, what to expect. Um, so at this point, I'm going to try as best possible to try and remember, but if I forget anything, as I say, apologies, just send me a message and I will try and answer as, as best as I can. When you come for the consultation, please make sure that you have washed your hair. There is no oil, no conditioning conditioner in your hair. If you want your hair conditioned, wash your hair and pre and do a, a, a leave-in conditioning treatment. Um, rinse that out thoroughly and come with your hair out because um, as consultants, we want to see your lock, your strand pattern to understand how your hair would react to certain locking patterns. So just come with your hair clean out, and then we will basically all that consultants will do the work. Um, and it is true, no oils or no conditioning. Um, when you put conditioner, conditioners in your hair, when you've newly sister locks up, um, uh, what I call by new sister locks, I mean one year. Um, when you put that, it can encourage slippage. And the amount of money you're paying, you don't want to have any slippage. So don't put any oils, don't put any conditioners. And when you need support with the dryness, that's where your consultant will advise you what to do. All you need is moisture spritz bottle spray 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 and that's it that should be enough and i i tend to recommend rose water um it's really good conditioning um treatment for me and my hair and a lot of my clients use it and enjoy using it um if you want to color your hair please color your hair um prior to your installation appointment um which you should allow about three days um installation i mean we can do it quicker but we always say to be on the safe side allow three days um, color your hair and also don't color your hair um, during this year and actually as sister locks wearers I would say I would encourage you to try not to color your hair off quite often because obviously we all have different strand types so somebody else might color their hair all the time and it, they're fine but um, it could weaken the locks that could weaken the locks um, putting heat on your hair could weaken your locks as well and obviously you want it all to be one straight size let me show you mine so um it should be all one size like that can you see and some people's have curls at the end mine has a little i don't know whether you can see that and some people's don't um it all depends on basically your hair type we can't guarantee um, this is not focusing very well, but I, I, I hope you can see that. Can you see? Um, we can't guarantee what is going to happen with your hair. When you start your... Look at my part one of my sister locks journey, and you will see that um, how thin my locks were. Your locks are going to start thin, um, and that's just the way it is. I cannot guarantee what your lock would look like. My consultant could never guarantee that my lock was going to be like this. Um, yeah, there's no guarantees. So what I would say is be patient and watch your hair do its thing. It's going to be thin when you first install it, when it's first installed. Then it's going to get, because of the movement of the hair trying to get into the locking formation, it will be more fluffier, more afro-y. Um, but also when your hair is being interlocked, because it's being interlocked, it's going to be bendy, it's going to be supple. It's not going to be hard because you don't have that product build up. You know, the gels and the beeswax that are used to twist traditional locks, you don't have that. So it's not going to be stiff. So it means you can manipulate it and style it better. Um, the final stage is once it's gone into that fullness, um, it will then, and it depends on, everyone varies. Everyone's experience varies. It gets took two years. Mine took a year um, to lock up. And when it locks up, it condenses. So it'll go teeny, it get fuller, then it condenses into the lock formation. And when it um, locks it off, basically as you're going along, um, you will find that the hair locks is away and then it's growing and then it's, in, it's, in, it's locked up and then to the base. Now, let me just show you something quickly. Um, so this bit is locked up quicker, um, is more locked up than the base. And it varies for um, everyone. It varies for everyone. Let me find a better lock. 
Um, some peoples will be locking very quickly once it's been locked with a tool and some people it would take ages. It just depends on your hair type. But um, after a year, you can cut your hair. I'm trying to find a strand for you. After a year, you can cut your hair. You can do, um, you can cut into a style. You can style it more often. But at the beginning, do not style your hair um, all the time. Just style it once for the week. And then um, also washing. Don't overwash your hair. We will show you how to band your hair um, and wash. But um, be gentle with it because it's new locks. So I just want to kind of explain what happens every six to eight weeks. If I can find a loose lock. Every six to eight weeks, you're going to have growth. This is a really bad example, by the way. I'll just demonstrate. I'll just explain, right? You'll have growth, a gap. That gap is tightened and then your hair locks itself and it grows out. And that growth is loose and then it gets tightened and then it grows out. And it just continues like that, basically. All the shedding that happens in your hair continues happening. It's just stays in your... You know, normally with loose afro, it falls and that's what gives you the fullness in the body. All those shedded hairs just lock. So sometimes you see the white beads. It's not because you're suffering hair loss. It's just natural. The hair just sheds at a specific stage. Um, but hair should grow back. What you should be worried about is if there's a cluster of hair coming out and they're like white beads, the little beads. Um, did it look? Um, like it looks like dew, little water um, at the end, collected at the end. Then you should be worried. That means your lock is being tightened Basically, your hair is being tightened too tightly. You shouldn't be in pain and you shouldn't need to take medication because that's your follicle saying, I don't like. Really, what should happen is your hair should be tightened, but there should be a little bit of hair um, to allow uh, for there not to be pain and, and so to make sure you're not pulling, your follicles aren't being pulled. Um, so that's it. I think I've covered everything. Um, quickly, permed head um, people thinking about locking and um, doing sister locks. Don't cut your perm, please. Just leave your hair to grow. Come see the consultants. I'm not going to tell you how many inches because it de does vary dependent on your hair texture. Some people's hair textures are thick. And so if your hair texture is thick and coarse, you might not need a lot of growth. Other people might need lots more because their strands are thin and their, their curl patterns are different. So let your consultant tell you. But it's very important. You don't need to cut your hair. For you to get sister locks just grow it out and then slowly cut it now i want to make sure that i've not missed anything um and i think i have not that is it if i've missed out on anything please just get in touch hope you enjoy this posting and enjoy your sister locks take care Ah oh, well, uh, Mono Safin SK, original, uh, official ringer, Adam, lawyer in his cement present, yeah, street last term. Uh. Kick, 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 on y va. Tous les mondes présentez vos chansons, s'il vous plaît, voici votre SK Blitz, original, official ringer, Adam. Afrique, balancez, balancez, Afrique, bougez, bougez, Afrique, balancez, balancez, Afrique, bougez, bougez, Afrique. Balancez, balancez, bougez, bougez, hey, hey, hey. Ah, ah, yeah, Aujourd'hui c'est la fête Tous les mots, tous les mots Y'a pas ta mévan, on va casser le coin Tout est là, tout est, yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh 